In today's video, I'm playing as Ben 10 and I'm going to unlock even more aliens. In the last episode, if you guys missed it, I defeated Hex, who Uncle Max is supposedly going to come and take to prison. This dude was causing earthquakes. Obviously, he has a giant underground cave, so he was using his magic to literally just cause chaos. But no way, ladies and gentlemen, he actually had one of the DNA strands, so I should be able to use that in order to morph into my next alien. Not you accelerate, we have Wrath, Slapback. Cannonbolt, Humongousaur, and the brand new alien, Shockrock. I think we're going to have to use Shockrock in order to head back to the city, and supposedly we need to break some sort of wall. First things first, we need to go ahead and get out of this magical cave. While we're doing that, I need to let you guys know, if you do want to see more Ben 10 episodes, I need you guys to go ahead and smash like with your pointer finger on your left hand. While you guys are down there doing that, you might as well hit that subscribe button if it's red, so you turn it gray and you'll never miss a brand new episode. I also completely forgot to test out his ability, so we have something called a bloomerang. That is amazing. It's literally just like a ball of energy. We also have something called a blast. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like I put my hands to the ground and then electrocute the entire area around me. And last but not least, I have an ability called charge. Charge. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that did. Can I use my force field now? Yes, I can. This is the coolest ability. And then I can deactivate my force field as well. Or can I? Can, can, okay, yes, I can. Shockwave definitely isn't the fastest, so we might as well utilize Accelerate to start speeding up back to the city. In today's episode, I'm going to need your guys' help. If you see any of the Omnitrix tokens that I collected at the beginning of the episode or in the past couple of episodes, please leave a comment down below with a timestamp. I actually ended up missing one in the last episode, so I need to eventually go back to the ranch and grab that. If we can collect all of them, we will unlock three special new Ben 10 aliens. Down we go, back to the city, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, I'm bopping my way to the top, like Sharpay says in High School Musical, but today I'm gonna be bopping my way down to the bottom. And it worked out. We got another Omnitrix token. Now, let's go see if we can find the wall that I need to break. Yo, wait, what are these things? Who's Billy Billions? These new drones better be good. I only deserve the best. Hey, don't you think you should be using them to do some good? Why should I? I can do whatever I want, and nobody is going to stop me. Peace your eyes on the best tech money can buy. Well, all right, dude, you're, all right, you're, that's not pretty, that's not cool at all. What is he doing? Activate battle mode. Okay, I've got to figure out a way to take down these drones. Uh, oh, wait a second, I literally just got a, I literally just got an alien that's gonna be perfect for this. Also, can we just take a second to just look at Billy Billions? This dude literally looks like the most spoiled kid I've ever seen. Okay, all right, all right, we can't talk to him too bad yet because he has three amazingly powerful billionaire tech robots. Okay, we're gonna return to human form, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Omnitrix and we need to, I mean, forearm could probably do the trick, but I think Shockwave is either going to power them up or he is going to be able to overload them so much that they just break down. Let's go ahead and try a Bloomerang. Okay, yes, dude, it's actually doing damage. Can I punch it? Okay, every single time I punch, I do a little bit of electricity attack. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and try to do a blast. Yes, that's super effective. Okay, it also does damage over time, so it seems like these things aren't able to gain extra charge from my powers, which is good. Did I power it down? Are you dead? Is that why you're leaning over? Are you tired or something? Yo, Billy Billions, your robots are trash, dude. You should probably throw them in the garbage. Wait a second. It looks like there's an area over here that I have to go to. Oh, what you, wait, what, what is this? Can I use this to power myself up? Oh, wait a second. It wants me to shock the panel. Let's try to do a blast. Did it work? Maybe if I do my charge ability. Okay. Okay. Hold up. I should probably deal with these guys first. It looks like I powered down another one. It looks like there's only one more to go. Or maybe they're just recharging. I can't tell. Let's use our bloomerang on him. That is not a bloomerang. That is a flipping omnitrix. Bloomerang. Bloomy bloomerang. Let's use our blast ability one more time. And then we should just be able to power him down. Suck on them apples, Billy Billions. Okay. Now we should be able to go over here and use our blast ability. Let's use our charge ability and wait a second, we charged it up. You'll pay for that. Do you have any idea how expensive they are? Uh, you started this bill. You literally told me that these things were like billion dollar tech robots, so I don't know what to tell you. Helping people is lame, and I'm not lame. Well, I mean, you kinda are lame, dude. Helping people is literally like, that's the least lame thing to do. Ladies and gentlemen, moral of today, do not be like Billy Billions. Be like Beck Bro Ben 10 and help people. We need to go ahead and be Billy Billions to the next panel so I can shock it, and he can no longer have his billion air tech toys. Before I leave, let's go ahead and trap Billy Billions inside of a force field. I just realized that traps myself inside of the force field, and I do not want to be trapped inside here with the little dummy Billy Billions, so we're gonna leave. Let's go inside of his billionaire tech tower and see if we can find the other panels and shock them so we can no longer use any of the electricity. It looks like we're gonna need to use Wrath in order to climb up the tower. Okay, let's return back to human form, and then we can go ahead and morph into Wrath. Back to climbing we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, all right. I'm not even finished climbing. You're not even gonna let me climb up, bro. Well, that's too bad for you. I'm gonna roar you. I said, I'm gonna roar you. Okay, these things are immune to being roared at. It's a good thing I have an ability called Slash, which does a lot more damage. 
Yes! Yes, it's working! They can't even handle wrath! Okay, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna need to morph back into Shockwave, so then I can actually turn these things off once and for all. Okay, okay, they're getting awfully close. We're gonna have to do a little bit of parkour here, ladies and gentlemen. Back to human form. Use the Omnitrix, and then we're gonna morph back into Shock Rock. Okay, we need to take this thing out with the Bloomerang. Go ahead, Bloomerang, and maybe just a Blast ability. Okay, that should power him down for the time being. Let's go ahead and charge up this panel. Did it work? I think it worked. Activate Ultra Platinum Battle Mode Deluxe. Dude, dude, no, don't do that, Billy. Do not do that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> your aliens are nothing compared to my money. <laughs> this dude is so spoiled. It's literally his dad's money, bro. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Okay, it looks like there's another panel that I have to find. I am literally going to shut down his entire building. Billy Billions is no longer going to have access to billions of dollars by the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking him out. And then we're going to have to send him back to school so we learn some manners. All right, we're going to go ahead and I think I need to use uh, Wrath in order to like hop up here a little bit. And then I might need to climb up even higher. Oh, wait. What's up? What's up, fellas? <laughs> I think Billy must have activated the super powerful battle mode. Don't worry, you guys stay right down there. Actually, this is a job for forearms. Let's do this. Seismic clap. That's right, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna hit them off the building. That worked out great. Why have I not been using forearms? Okay, uh, I think, I think, I think, yep, yep, they're all gone. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our Omnitrix to morph all the way back into Shock Rock. Shock Rock, do your thing and electrocute the building. Billy, Billy, Billy said, you're just, you're just, uh, I can't read. Billy said, you're just jealous. You can't stop this before anyone gets hurt. Nobody he tells me what to do. No fair, stupid drones are supposed to be top of the line. I should have upgraded them with his DNA. That's right, Billy. Cry. Cry to your dad. I mean, we really could have done some good with those drones, but I guess not. Billy Billy and said, they're my drones and I'm not sharing. And look at what that did, Billy. Now all your drones are busted. He said, fine. I don't care about it anyways. Pick it up on the floor. That's what you get, Billy. I really wish I could lock him in a forest field and then never let this dude out because this dude is the worst. Well, that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. At least we were able to bully him and get back the DNA. It looks like Uncle Mac literally just, uh, 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 did, he, did he just kidnap Billy Billions? Whatever, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna ask him any questions because we just unlocked a brand new alien. Uh, let's go ahead and showcase Diamond Head, uh, one of my favorites. Diamond Head has a couple different cool abilities. We have diamond darts that we can shoot out of our hands. Dude, that was sick. There's like 18 darts that fly. We also have a spikes in a line. Uh, that is amazing. And then we could do spikes in a circle to protect myself. Let's go check out Uncle Max. How are you holding up, kid? Got some great news for you. Asmuth, the clever little toad, has nearly stabilized the Null Void Projector. It won't be long before it's all three of you fighting the bad guys. We might have a lead on some DNA at Forever Knight's Castle. Could you check it out? Um, yeah! Wait a second. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you guys were keeping up with the other episodes, but in the first episode, Ben and Gwen got captured. Well, they didn't necessarily get captured. They kind of accidentally went into, like, this weird void dimension. It was all Asmuth's fault. He was trying to do something with a Void Projector, and basically the entire thing just exploded and caused all of these portals to start opening. That's how all the DNA got spread, and also Ben and Gwen got sucked into the portals. So ladies and gentlemen, if I keep finding the DNA and Asmuth can fix the Void Projector, then we can actually fight all together. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. You are not going to want to miss that, and also I'm not going to want to miss it, and I also might have a panic attack when it happens, because Ben 10 is literally one of my favorite people ever. So it looks like our next DNA is at Forever Knight's Castle. I actually think that I passed by it earlier. We're gonna go and morph back into Accelerate so we can get there just a tad bit quicker. I'm also going to be on the lookout for Kevin Levin. Normally, he's lurking after I take down a boss battle. It looks like we're close, ladies and gentlemen. I think I see the castle up there, but it looks like something flipped over this bus. Yeah, there was an accident. Let's go make sure nobody is hurt. I actually think I saw this earlier. It's, uh, it's kind of quiet. No. Escapees? What the heck, bro? Where, where, they, wait a second, who was driving the bus? Why did they not collect the escapees? Okay, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I honestly, I like, I should be able to use Accelerate in order to capture them all and throw them up in a tornado. <laughs> that move is literally so overpowered, especially against just normal human beings. Uh, I feel kind of bad. Am I supposed to like kill them or can I just capture them? I guess we're just going to incapacitate them. We're going to knock them out like Pokemon do to one another or okay. I thought they died, but they didn't look. They're just all concussed and it looks like very tired. That's right. You guys nap, nap it off. You know, uh, we'll, we'll have to call the, the, the police out here in just a second. Yeah, Bessie, we got, we got a code nine out here. We got three escapees that I may have accidentally concussed. No, no. Yeah. They're, they're all alive. Life, but like I'm gonna need like an FBI or, or like something to come out and collect them. Maybe just get Rodney. Also tell him to bring cookies. Thanks.
Oh, it looks like there's another escapee over here. Wait, is there multiple? Oh my gosh, dude, there's another three. They were literally just hiding. They were trying to run away while I was fighting the other ones. I do not want to use diamond head on these escapees because I feel like I would accidentally kill them. Okay, there we go. We incapacitated them. One down, two down. This dude's head stuck in a dirt block. And the last one's way up there. We're gonna send him super high up. And I think I just broke all of their legs. And you did. Or are knocked out. Okay, cool. Looks like Bessie's gonna get Uncle Max out here to collect all of the prisoners and bring them back to prison. Now we can keep heading up to Forever Knight's castle. This looks like the entrance, ladies and gentlemen, and that definitely looks like Forever Knight's castle. Let's be really cautious. Wait, wait, I just realized, dude, when I shift click, <laughs> Accelerate starts walking on all fours. Before I go inside, let's go ahead and morph into our brand new alien, Diamond Head. That should just protect us a tad bit more than if I was Accelerate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're at the front doors. Do, do I knock? What's the appropriate thing to do here? Do I- Oh, well, well, hello there. How are you doing? I've been waiting for you, learning you here. All I ask is you join me, fix this broken world, rid it of the aliens for good, starting with this piece of DNA. That device you hold has only brought chaos to our world, the world I swore to protect. Uh, protect? You and your friends have been kind of wreaking havoc on this world, certainly not protecting it. I'm not sure if you're friends with, like, the other dudes that I was fighting or Billy Billions. If you're friends with Billy Billions, I'm gonna have to kill you. So much like Tennyson, a pity. I was hoping you would see the big picture. I've been watching. Your skills could be better suited if you join forces with me. What do you say? Dream on, Forever Knight. You might have been a good guy once, but now you will perish. Dude, I've literally done more going with the Omnitrix in like three hours than you've probably done in your entire life. So I think we're just going to have to agree to disagree. And apparently that's what's going to happen. Looks like he has a shield. And okay, okay. So if I attack the shield, it doesn't do any damage. So maybe I'm able to use Diamond Head's spike abilities in order to try to get past the shield. Nope, I cannot. Okay, we're gonna have to lure him into an attack. Okay, his shield's down. Shield is down, ladies and gentlemen. Attack! Whoa, he's got a whip! Okay, all right, we gotta be really, really careful about that shield and the whip. Also, while we're at it, just so I don't forget, we're gonna go ahead and collect this Omnitrix token. Okay, let's see if I can lure him to get his shield down. Or if I hit him in the back, it looks like I can do extra damage as well. Okay, let's try to use our spike circle. Yes, there we go. That actually does damage because it attacks in all directions. Dude, this guy is trash. Okay, he also has what appears to be like a spiked mace that turns into a whip. That's actually pretty impressive, and I would love to have that ability, but I don't even know if I can. I'm also really curious to see what DNA he stole. I really hope it's Heplast. That is easily one of my favorite aliens and we took him down. I don't think I lost any health. Bro, this, this man literally just got demolished. I think that might have been the easiest fight yet. Probably because this dude has been literally up in his castle for probably like all of his life. So he's really not a good fighter. But let's go ahead and collect the DNA anyway. He blessed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I knew it. Max said, No time to rest though. We're receiving really strange readings from the Arctic weather station. I have a suspicion that a certain pair of twins might be interfering with the instruments. Make your way to the weather station and check it out. It's located out on the ice shelf. He has a feeling that twins are out there messing with it. I'm not entirely sure who that could be, ladies and gentlemen, but if you have any ideas, leave a comment down below. I'm going to go ahead and check out the rest of the castle to see if I can find any other Omnitrix tokens. But ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we're going to be heading out to the weather station and also testing out our brand new alien, Heat Blast. Let's go just make sure I actually got it. Okay, so if I go this way, we actually, we have quite a few aliens left to unlock. But ladies and gentlemen, we can now heat it up a little bit with Heat Blast. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Heat Blast. Next time we'll be using Heat Blast in order to see what's happening on the ice shelf. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below of who you think the twins are. That's gonna wrap it up. My name is Beckbro Heat Blast, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.